Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today is a very special video. By request, many of you have asked me to do a tutorial on my eye makeup, so here it is. Today well, I'm going to show you, just my eyes, how I create three different looks. A cat eye, something I call a fresh look that looks a little bit more natural, and then finally the smoky eye. So, let's go ahead and get started. So, I did my um, foundation, I've done my eyebrows, my lips, everything. I've also done my eye prep. I use an eye primer and this is the eye primer I use. I think you can just about read it, but it's the Ulta Matte Eye Primer. It evens out the color, it prepares my eye uh, eyelid to receive the eyeshadow. It not only makes it easy to blend and I don't get a whole lot of color grab, you know, where you take and put the brush here and you try and blend it, but you've got this blob of, of color right here. It, it prevents that from happening. And so it makes it easy to blend it. It also makes it last all day. So it's like, oh my gosh, this is beautiful. It stays in one place. Um, if there's anything, you know, like oiliness in here and there's a little bit of creasing, it's minimized. So this is a great product. I love it. So I would highly recommend this. All right. So I'm going to give you three looks, but the one thing that stays common between the three different looks is my eyeliner. What I want to show you right now is the basic eyeliner that I use every single day. And I use this for any look. So let's go ahead. My eyeliner begins with doing my waterline. My favorite eyeliner to use on my waterline is Almay's All Day Eyeliner Pencil and in the color uh, black, pearl. And I will put the links for this all the way down there, but it's a, a you know twist up top. And well, let's go ahead and begin. I hold, I press on my eyelid to prevent me from blinking too much, but I just go right on the eyelid and I press the color into the eyelash area. So you can really tell it up here. I'm gonna go ahead and line this and we do the other eye. And of course I keep Q-tips handy just in case I smudge a little bit and then what i do is i set my eyeliner with eyeshadow in black i take an angled brush a stiff angled brush see how that is? it might be considered an eyebrow brush um, and i love this eyeshadow by ulta it doesn't have a lot of fallout it has intense color and it stays where i put it so i take my angled brush and i just dab it into the color, and then I just touch it on the areas where I placed my eyeshadow, or maybe the eyeliner. Okay, so you can see I've pushed the eyeshadow color, this black, I touched it on where I placed my eyeliner, and then I've also, on my upper lashes, I've taken the brush and blended the color up into my eyelashes as well. So what that's going to do is going to give me a distinct outline from my waterline all the way up my eyelashes and onto the second part of my eyeliner which will give it a nice complete um, sculpting look because it'll be continuous black color as I go into my eyeliner. If I didn't do that then the eyeliner that I place on my eyelid would leave wouldn't reach down through the eyelashes and would leave a gap of flesh tone showing in between and that will distract and make it look muddy or make it look tired and it just won't look as good. So that's what I do for the first stage of my eyeliner on the waterline. The next is the eyeliner on top. 
and maybe a little bit below, but I don't do a lot of a lot of that on below. The product that I like to use on my eyeliner is this infallible. Let's see if you can read that. It's infallible Pro Last Long Wear Eye Pencil by L'Oreal. Okay, and this is a wonderful creamy pencil, and it goes on very very nicely. It uh, it just glides on. I can use it very lightly or I can make it very, very intense. This color happens to be gray. They have a, a sparkly kind of a gray. They have black, but this is what I have right now. And I, I like it. I would use either the black or the gray or the sparkly gray, any of them. One thing I forgot to mention is that before I even started, and I did this as part of my, my foundation and my uh, skin um, treatment, is that I take and dust this area very lightly with e.l.f. Um, it's an HD powder. It says Perfect Finish HD Powder, e.l.f. And it's in the white color. And what I do with that is I just lightly take my, my blush brush, I mean um, my foundation or setting brush, and I just um, put a thin layer of powder right here so that if I do get any fallout from the uh, eyeshadow that I place on, it's already made it a slick surface so that I can take my brush and just flick off any color without it creating the color or having the color stick on that area. So that makes it really, really easy to get rid of that. And especially since I put my whole foundation on before I do my eyes, that's an important step for me. I've seen other um, makeup artists do it, and I've also seen, and, and it works great for them, and I've seen other makeup artists do it the other way around where they do their eyes first and then they do their foundation. So whatever way you put your makeup on, um, you can find a way to help prevent this black fallout. Okay, so what we're going to do with this eyeliner is, um, I wanted to point out that you can take a look at my eyes and you see a certain shape. My lower lid has a very soft, gentle curve, very, very soft and gentle, almost not completely flat, but it does have a, a little bit flatter appearance than my upper eyelid. My upper eyelid has a lot of curvature to it. So what that does, it creates the appearance that my eyes are drooping down, especially out here at the corners. And that defeats everything that we want to try and achieve when we're putting on makeup, because my natural anatomical features don't allow for an uplifting appearance. So that's why we wear makeup. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the illusion that my eyes actually point upward. And I do that with this eyeliner. Okay, now I've done this for years, so I know what to do, how to place my eye pencil and all that. But I think for if you're just beginning to think about this concept, we might want to uh, do a little bit of an outline first before. So this is what I might suggest. Okay, I'm using my Ulta Pot of eyeshadow and it's called Burgundy Pop. And it's a, it's the color we're gonna use um, later. Um, but we're going to create an illusion that my eye continues upward. So what I wanna do is just tap the tip of a very, very thin pencil, or I mean brush, with color and I'm going to imagine that the curvature of my lower eyelid is going to continue up. So I'm gonna kind of point the way and lightly go up just to my orbital bone. And do you see that curvature? It's gonna go follow that curve right here and go up to the orbital bone. And already, look at what it did to my eye. It gives it a really distinct and uplifting appearance. So what we can do is we can do the same thing on the other side. Let's imagine that this eyelid is going to continue up here. And I do like to, you know, kind of use my pen, uh, the, my brush to point the way. And I'm not putting a lot of color on here because I don't really want this color here. This is going to act 
as an outline for my eyeliner. Okay, so I'm going to stop right at my orbital bone. Now, if you have if you have hooded eyes, you're going to have to determine at what point on your hooded eyelid are you going to create that artificial crease because that's the whole secret with um, with um, treating hooded eyes is applying eyeshadow and um, onto the lid that creates the illusion that you have um, more space between your eyelashes and an orbital bone. Okay, so this is what's going to help me just to begin with. I mean, even for an everyday look, it might be kind of fun just to leave it like that. Okay, so let's go to the eyeliner. So I have my eyeliner here. And the I know that that's going to give me the outline where I want to stop with my eyeliner application here on this side of my eye. What I also want to do is stop right in the middle of my pupil. I So what I want to do is create almost a triangular shape and I'll show you a little bit of how this is going to look right here at this spot is where I'm going to stop with my eyeliner and it's going to be very very thin right here and then it's going to come out up into this area and when I close my eyes I mean you can kind of see that that hint of color here now and if you're looking at my videos very closely you'll see that my black eyeliner when I close my eyes it does give you that very very distinct cat eye look and I use the cat eye look um, frequently but what I'm going to show you right now is just the beginning stages and this is the look I or this is the eyeliner I use for all three of my looks and then when I do the cat eye I'll show you how we enhance that tail so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start down at the lashes and I'm going to take my pencil and just start putting some color in there. I'm going to stop right in the middle. Because if I did go any further into the center of my face, then it'll bring my eyes in and um, make me look more closed eyed. If I leave the eyeliner on the outside, it's going to open my face up a lot more. You'll have more white and clear vision here, but all of the attention will be brought out to the outside of the face. Okay, so what I do is I begin and I start to fill in with this. And I just lightly, I stay out here on the outside and I keep adding a little bit of color higher and higher and higher. I don't go out to the orbital bone yet. <clears throat> so this is my, my this is for my basic look. And I fill in just to the center of my eye and i can take and make this as high as i want or as low as i want and you might want to play around with this just to see how much of this looks good on you how how much do you like um do you like more or less um now you can see there's a little bit of of this color drooping down here and i'm going to correct that by adding the lower lid and making that a smooth, almost a sculpting appearance of the eyeliner going from my lower lid and then continuing with this upper lid area. And this is only on the eyelid. I'm not going on to my orbital bone area. So you see what that looks like? It makes a big difference already, doesn't it? Okay, we're gonna just finish this one. I'm gonna just use this as, as my guideline again. I'm going to stop right about here and I usually just kind of make a little dot but the biggest thing I want to do is follow this line and then add height see how I'm doing that I'm just going up high here and then continuing to direct it down towards this pointy or this center part right here and then I want to make sure there Okay, now this one looks a little bit different than this one, doesn't it? So the, the real trick now is making sure that they both look about even. And what I have found is that if I have one eye that has more than the other, it's a whole lot easier in a lot of instances to add to the one that's smaller 
to make it look balanced with the larger one because with this type of pencil it's um it can be very kind of greasy and it'll smear if you try taking it away the only other caveat to that is that if you take it and you push in up towards the eyeshadow a little bit now i have a little bit of the eyeshadow outline there okay so you can play around with that and see what works best for you okay so this is my basic very very basic eyeshadow or eyeliner application and we'll use this application for all three different looks okay all right we'll see you in the next phase now we're going to do a couple of steps that give you that real distinct cat eye appearance the first part is extending the eyeliner a little bit more and so what that's going to do it's going to take us up into the orbital bone a little bit more so if you want you can take the very skinny pen or uh, uh, brush that we use to give the, us that that template to follow and you can go ahead and do a little bit more and take that up onto the orbital bone it's a little easier to remove this if you if you like um, than it is the grease the greasy pencil but what you want to do essentially is you want to take this line from starting from underneath and you want to continue it up to a point on the orbital bone and so you see I'm going to extend that maybe about a quarter or an eighth of an inch that's all we really don't need to do a lot okay and the idea is to make it smooth so I might use my q-tip uh, to clean that up a little bit just the immediately following putting this on, you want to be sure and, and use a Q-tip to remove it. So that's, and what we're wanting to do too, is we're wanting to have this eyeliner point towards, or point the direction towards the tip of the eyebrow. And what that's going to do, it's going to complete this look of your eyes. Okay, let's go to the other side. And obviously we've got, I might even add a little more height to it, but the thing that makes it a cat eye is that tail. Okay, you see what I did? And the idea, we want to make sure they're both even, even in intensity, you know, how much thickness of color, even in length. Okay, well that, that takes care of the eyeliner for my cat eye. The only other thing that I do for my cat eye is I add eyeshadow and I will frequently just use one color of eyeshadow and that's it. So I take my eyeshadow brush, which is a little short bristled, um, softly rounded flatter brush. And I'm going to use this uh, burgundy pot from Ulta. I really like this. This is a, some, some of these burgundy colors can be a little more brown and some can have a, a tint of blue or purple to it. And this one has a little bit more blue purple color to it. And that's what I like about it. The browns, if, unless I change all of my makeup, uh, the browns have a tendency to make my eyes look tired. And so I really like this because it does brighten my features. So we're gonna take it and I'm only gonna put powder on one flat side of my brush, okay? So I'm gonna tap it a couple times. That's it. Now, remember we talked about how the tip of the eyeliner is pointing the way towards the uh, tip of the eyebrow. So we're going to take this, and the color is on the side facing my skin, and I'm going to lay it just right about in the same spot where the tip is pointing towards, see how that, I deposited that? Now, what I might do is I might go into my crease and, and just lightly put some color. I deposited most of the color here, but I want to follow my orbital bone and only put the eyeshadow on the upper part of my crease, ending on my orbital bone. I wanna keep my whole eyelid completely clear and what you see is the primer that I put on. 
and it it looks perfect for what the look I'm looking for right now. So, okay, so now I have a little bit of deposit on this crease, and then I have this over here on the orbital balloon. So I'm gonna go back here. I'm not adding any more color. I'm going to take it up a little further, and I'm gonna start bringing it in towards the eye. Now I'm not gonna put color this thick all the way across my orbital bone. I'm going to, as I turn, or apply my brush, I'm going to turn it. See how I'm turning that? And then it ends up being a thin application right here. So what we get is a graduation of color. It starts out very thin at my orbital bone towards the center of my uh, face, and then it gradually gets bigger as you go out towards the outer part of the face. Okay, so I'm probably gonna add a little bit more. I only tapped out two times this time, but I want to get that distinct cat eye look. So that means I need to add a little bit of color over here and then take it down onto the eyeliner. Okay, so the eyeliner and the eyeshadow, they um, overlap. And you see what this does? It takes that lower eyelid and it creates the arc that takes my uh, takes your eye up and on my face it makes it look lifted, doesn't it? So before I get too carried on in this side, let's do this other side. All right, again, about three taps. I'm gonna take and extend my brush. Okay, let's see, I'm gonna put it right about here and turn sideways so you can see. Okay, I just, tapped it on there so I get that little bit of an arch. I'm gonna end up going higher, but now I'm going to take and do this orbital bone above my crease. It's not in the crease, but it's on the orbital bone above the crease. Okay, put a little bit on there and then I can begin I'm gonna add a little bit more color. And that gives me a very distinct lift. Okay, now the trick is, are they even? Okay, so we wanna continue with this. And of course, you can take your Q-tip as you see fit and um, clean up anything that seems to be to be falling at all. Okay, that looks good. This one might need a tad bit more, maybe just going up and then right here. You know, we'll always have one eye that's just a little bit different than the other. You know, we all know this side of your body is not equal exactly to this side. It's not a mirror image. And so we have to deal with some of those imperfections. But, you know, if you get to know your body well and know your structure, your bone structure underlying your fascia, your skin layers, the muscles, all of that, you can create um, a very, very different, distinct look. Okay, so one color, one primer, two eyeliners, and this is my cat eye look. So what I do right now, at this stage, I take this Ulta Wannabe Free Makeup Setting Spray, and this is the Dewy Finish. Now, so this actually sets my makeup to even last longer, and it also quenches my, my skin's thirst. So let's go ahead. There you go. I spray that on. I take my dryer. Okay, so you can see a little bit of the dewiness on here right now. That sets my eye makeup, my face makeup, my eyebrows, everything. And of course I'm done with my lipstick too. And then all that's left for me to do is put my uh, mascara on. And right now I am loving this Il Maquillage Mascara. And um, it's got a great little brush on it. And I only do the upper lashes. I'll take and put about two coats on there and then I don't put any on my lower lashes because what that does, instead of 
it distracts from this upward sweep that I'm creating. So without putting any eye uh, mascara on down here, it doesn't pull the eye down open like this. Now, sometimes when I go out for evening, I will add a little bit in the corners on the lower part. But that's pretty much it. So this is my cat eye look. Let's finish our look by getting dressed. Okay, and that completes my cat eye. How do you like it? Let's go on to the next look. Okay, for the fresh look, we begin with the same canvas and eyeliner treatment. I've got that already on. And so the only other thing we're going to do is put eyeshadow on. And for this look, I'm going to be using this little pot of Ulta eyeshadow called Desire. And it's a flesh tone, you can see it is. So um, it doesn't go on very dark, but that's the whole point of it. We're going to use it like contour. So what I'm gonna do is take my brush that I've kind of cleaned out a little bit from all the dark uh, colors that I used on it before, and I'm going to tap it into the color. I'm going to begin at the corner of my eye and I'm going to sculpt. Okay, let's take a look. The bridge of my nose goes up and then it goes towards my eyebrow. So what I wanna do is follow that same line, but begin at the eye. Let's see, can you see that? So just on the inside corner of the eye, and then bring it across to my orbital bone and above my crease. Okay, can you see that little bit of shadowing that's happening now? It's like it's contouring, okay? A little bit more. And I'm going to treat my orbital bone up here the same way that I do um, when I put it on for the cat eye look. Okay, I am getting a little bit of fallout from this. So I wanna make sure that I tap it, but look at this color. It's very, very subtle. And what I'm going, I'm gonna be doing the same thing. I got an itch. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing the same kind of contouring with this light flesh colored eyeshadow. And I'm gonna go up higher and towards my eye, my eyebrow. And look what that's done. Without really adding a whole lot of color, what I've done is I've created um, a very sultry kind of look, but it's still not a lot of color. And that's the whole point. So let's go ahead and do the other eye. And this acts almost like contouring, does it? So then the trick here, again, just like all, all other eye applications, is making sure that it is even and that we have equal amounts placed on both sides. And do we get the same look? Now you can go up a little bit closer to your eyebrow with this, this look especially if you're using a more fleshy tone or even, maybe even a lighter shade of this, but any medium shade will do. Um, and as long as it's close to your uh, underlying skin tone, you know, whether you have a blue undertone or a, a yellow gold undertone, um, red undertones, well, of course, we don't want to put red eyeshadow on. <laughs> no, but, but you can find a very good anywhere, any kind of a neutral tone. So... But here again, we want to accentuate the fact that we are lifting and we have more color on the outside. Let me take a look there. I think that's about, that's that's real simple. It's very simple. It keeps my eyelids um, open and it looks like I have to dust off some more of my fallout. So I would take, I would take my HD powder, my e.l.f. HD powder, make sure I take care of this. Check everything else. Make sure that if I need to clean up underneath, and do I want to add or balance out anything else? 
It's important that if you use a magnifying mirror that you have your magnifying mirror for doing all your close-up work, but that you have another mirror, like I have one at, at um, on the wall behind here. And that allows me to get a, a little bit better perspective of the big picture and how it looks everywhere else. Um, sometimes, you know, it just takes a little bit of extra uh, looking and then coming back in, you know, magnifying, regular, magnifying, regular. <laughs> anyway, okay. So at this point, this is all I do for that fresh look. I mean, I just, it just allows me to have contour. And of course I follow it with my, my wannabe uh, setting spray and my mascara. And so we'll just go ahead and finish with that. And the lighter the color that you use, the the more natural and maybe even, you know, people won't even realize you have any kind of eyeshadow on. Okay, we put our mascara on. And then we're going to finish up our look by completing with jewelry and a wig. So I've got my Juliet by Paula Young on, got my earrings on, I'm ready to go with my fresh look. So let's take a look at the next look, the smoky eye. So for look number three, to begin with, you can see that I have my eyeliner exactly the same as um, in the other two looks as well. I always begin with this basic application. Now, if I want to accentuate it a little bit more after I get my eye shadow on, I might do that, but that would be only for like evenings or special occasions. This, this application is very simple. I'm going to, since I already introduced this uh, Mad for Matte palette from uh, e.l.f., I'm going to go ahead and use this gray color. You see this gray right here? Yep, that one right there. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and use that one. And so I just take my uh, eyeshadow brush that I used before. You can see that kind of right here. And I'm going to pat it. I'm choosing this color because um, I don't normally wear. I mean, I'll wear it sometimes with um, when I'm wearing gray wigs because it looks kind of purple mauve. Anyway, so now what I'm doing is I am placing, okay, I'm going to go ahead and dab this on here again. Just, I just tap it into the color, but I'm putting it on my eyelid and I'm going to cover my whole eyelid and I'm only going up to the crease. So this is a different, a different method, um, quite the opposite me method. I am going to uh, go ahead and Add that color. Now you could use any any shade that is on the medium deep color range. Any of these um, browns, mauves, taupes, um, gray, blues, greens. Um, they'll if they're in that color intensity group, being a dark darker, then it it will work. So when I get to the center or close to the center of my eyelid, I stop right about here. I don't do the very inner side, uh, inside part, and I cover my whole lid. All right, let's do the same thing on the other side. And again, I'm following my orbital bone. If you happen to have a hooded um, eyelid, then where you have taken and drawn in an artificial um, eye uh, crease, that is where you would take the color up. So you would take close your eye and bring that line up on your eyelid further than, than what I have, you know, um, right here. But it's very possible to, to uh, create that illusion that you do have, you don't have hooded eyes, and that you have um, a really distinct eyelid crease. Okay. So what this essentially does, it just creates a little bit more smoky eye. Okay. 
And you know, I, what I'm seeing in this color, it's instead of a gray color, it's more of a taupe. It goes on a little bit more taupe colored, but it's a good neutral. If you're looking for something that's kind of neutral and not going to give you a, a distinct brown color, but you don't want it cool, such as, um, you know, the bluer shades might be, um, then this would be a really good color. Okay, so what you can see is just a real simple application of this color. Now, I might stand back and just take a look. And I might decide I want to add a tiny bit going up and out. So without adding more color on my brush, I might just here again, follow the line of my eyeliner up here onto this orbital bone area and just drag the brush towards the center, which will deposit a little bit more eyeshadow on there. See how that happened? So I used this side of the brush just only on that, that eye. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to move my brush over here to this side and use the opposite side of the brush following it, placing it right at the angle of the eyeshadow, and then rubbing it up against my orbital bone. Okay, and so that adds a little bit more shadow on top. So it gives you a really smoky eye, if, if that's what you're looking for. And, um, and it's just a real simple, simple application, isn't it? It's just one color, and it's just put on differently so it gives you a little bit different look and of course you can um, follow up by even adding you know like if I was going to go out this evening probably at the end of the day I would freshen up my um, eyeliner um, and because I've put eyeshadow on top of my eyeliner right now it might be softening the impact of my uh, eyeliner Right now I have a gray eyeliner on. It's the infallible, L'Oreal infallible 24 hour long lasting eyeliner. And it's, it, it actually is my number one go-to. And they have a gray shimmer, they have gray, they have black, um, but the crayon in it stays so creamy. It doesn't, you know, sometimes pencils, those pencils dry out and then you have to drag them across your eye and it just hurts because it won't deposit the color. This L'Oreal Infallible really does a good job. So anyway, so that's this palette. And you know, I've used a couple of these different colors in the other looks and um, I really, I really like it. If I have any fallout, I just happen to take my, um, my powder brush and just some of my ELF HD powder and lightly flick it off. And at this point, I would go ahead and spray my uh, makeup, then put my uh, mascara on. And let's take a look at the final product. So this is my final look of look number three, my smoky eyes, my Jaclyn Smith Hollywood Lights wig, nice pair of earrings, and I'm off I thought I would show you how I touch it up for evening. So I would take a smaller brush. Can you see that? It's just a little smudging brush, short. And then I would take the same color that I was using. So it's this mauve color, just tap it in there. And what I would do is I would go out from the orbital bone and come in underneath my eyeliner. And I would smudge a little bit of color into my eyeliner and then take it up towards my eyebrow, the tail of my eyebrow, or at least follow underneath my eyeliner that I already put on in the morning. I would freshen that up, just draw right on top of it, but I would use the eyeshadow, the same color eyeshadow on the underside only. And of course, if there was any crease uh, accumulation, I would probably take a, a paper t uh, Kleenex or a Q-tip and smooth that out. But when you add this little bit of shadow underneath, look at the difference. See what that difference has made? 
on from this eye to this eye. All I did was smudge a little bit of the same eyeshadow color on top of my eyeliner and extend it below the eyeliner that I already drew with my pencil. So it what it does, it opens your eyes even more and widens your face, doesn't it? So I'm not gonna go around being lopsided like this. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the other side too. So here we go, just right underneath. And a little bit more, just up to the orbital bone. And making sure that I have a smooth line moving. And that's going to make the difference. You wanna stay in the same curvature, following the curvature of your eye, lower eyelid, so that it gives you that really smooth, sleek kind of appearance. And if it means adding a little bit more on the outside of that orbital bone area, then so be it, you know, it's going to. But the thing is you don't want to have this lower line going somewhere and then the upper line coming back down beyond it without it smoothly meeting at the point. What, okay, does that make sense? Okay, so even just a little bit. You can accentuate more if you want by extending it more. You can create more of an impact by using darker, bolder color. If you wear glasses like I do, it's really important that we do use a bit of makeup to um, let our eyes be seen behind the glare of our glasses. And um, that's a very important aspect of, of wearing makeup and, um, and wearing glasses. Thank you so much for watching. This was so much fun. I hope it was helpful for you. If you have any questions about it, please be sure to leave me a message. I will link all of my products that I use in the description box below. And if you want to see something else, let me know. So I hope I see you again in another one of my videos. Thank you so much for joining me today. We'll see you next time in Coco's Hair Solutions. Bye-bye.